day everyone. Once again, this jacket set you are welcoming you to Sexual Craft Channel or Sexual Fashion School Online. Start with, just take note of the following measurement parameters. I'll be using back 18, sleeve 10, round sleeve 13, round arm hole 18, blouse top or booba length 32, hips 40, then I'll be using tummy. Tummy is also 38, it's a flat omitted person, then the chest is 43. So how do we achieve this? It's as easy as A and B and C. You just get your fabric, this is my fabric this way. What will determine the extent of your fold? It's the largest part, the largest circumference of the person you're making the booba or the top or the men's blouse for. So if it's the, uh, it, right now we're not talking about busts, so they, they called yes yeah, chest. So, so so sorry if I'm calling bust, bust, bust. So it's chest. If it's the chest region or their hips or their tummy for quadruped tummy persons. So, but for this measurements, I'll be using the chest. The chest is the largest part of the body of the person. So that's what would determine the extent of a pool. Chest is 43. In men's fashion, you don't really have much land. So the chest is 43. To cut out that chest, all I need is just one inch of land. You sew on half inch. So that means I'll be cutting my fabric on 44. If you're so good at female fashion, then just relax your mind because you're going to get the male fashion easier than A and B and C. I think that's the other thing now. Easier than A and B and C. How do you cut your fabric for the male? You cut on fold unfold let me just show you you start this way remember is our chest that is determining the extent of our fold so we have chest 44 this fabric right now are folded into two i just want to cut out the basic body before i now start shaping what i want to do first is that if you have big fabric large fabric you just cut out the basic body then you now start cutting out the real measurement so 44 my fabric is folded into two so what do i do this is the front panel this is the back panel so what do i do right now i just divide that 44 by two and that'll give me what 22 inches so on this fold what i just want to achieve horizontally here right now is 22 inches so 44 divided by two will give me 22 inches so with this fold, I'm good to go. This 22 inches. Then I'll now come vertically this way. What is the length of my booba or top or men's blouse that I want to make is 32 inches. 32 inches, 32 inches. Then a standard, you add four inches more to that 32 inches. So with this, I'll be adding, having 36. So I'll just cut out this. The reason for the addition of this four inches is to take care of the turn up, to take care of the turn up and the addition of the back. You can see this back falls to the front. That's how the male fashion, the male top of Buba is. The back will fall to the front this way, and you also turn it in here. So, with this, we're good to go. We're good to go. Then, I'm going to do what right now. This is my front panel, and this is my back panel. I'll cut into two. So I'll fold into two this way. I'll fold the front panel into two. And I also fold the back panel into two. You fold the front panel this way and the back panel into two this way. Then you place them on each other this way. After placing them on each other this way, remember that our booba length or our top length is 32 inches. So these are 32 inches this way. Mm 
Remember, I added four inches for turning in. So, with this, this four inch is to accommodate this fall of the back to the front this way and the turning in down this way. So, what you do right now, it's basically that you will take this four inches, this, you rule this, you take this four inches this way, rule it out, then you cut the front. Remember the back is the higher part. The back is longer than the front. So that's where that accommodation will, fall, will come in. So you just cut it out this way. So with this, you're now ready. You now want to cut your neckline. Basically, the neckline for the average man that is not plumpy is three and a half inches by two and a half inches. Three and a half inches by two and a half inches. But if it's somebody that's on the plumpy side, it could be three, three quarter by two, three quarter. So that's the neckline, that's on the standard, basically on the average. So the person I'm making this top for, this men's top for, it's on the average. So I'll just be using three and a half by two and a half. And you just cut out your neckline, just the simple round neckline. So with this, you've got in your neckline, then you go to the back also on the same line. It should be that same two and quarter, two and half inches, just this line you could extend it. But the back would not be three and a half, it should just be two inches. Two inches. The back is always higher than the front. So two inches this way. So you just curve it out as well. So with this, you're good to go. You just cut out the necklines. And see, this is the neck. This is the neck of the person I'm making for. So, right now, what slants the shape of the shoulder? Remember, the shape of the shoulder is slanted this way. So, the slope is usually between one and one and a half, but for this, we'll be using one. So, come here, one inch this way, then you slant it down. Out. Difference between the back and the front is usually three and a half inches. So from here you measure the three and the half inches so that they will have the same slope. You measure then chuck out so that you just cut on that your chuck. Three and a half inches.
So with this, you just rule it out. So with this, you can see this is how it falls, as how the back now falls to the front, that's how you'll be having it. So with this, you now take your arm hole, you take your back measurement. What's our back? Our shoulder is 18, 18. That will be nine, but you can't cut on nine. You add one inch similarance, so that will make it ten. So you have it this way, ten, ten inches. Then you come down to the neckline as well. Then you come to this point. Remember, this we have this three and a half inches. Uh, allowance for the back to overlap to the front and for the folding in. So we want to achieve a ham hole from here. You just do what you divide this three and a half inches into two, and that will give us one three quarter. One this one and a half, then this one three quarter. So you place your tape root this way, and you achieve that same ten inches here. So, 10 inches. Because I've known the extent of my fold. So, you could just shape out your hand all this way. One thing you have to take note of, please, is that you must ensure that that turn is all true here. It's here. That turn is here. That turn is here. Now, this is the chest, though. We're using chest 43. Chest 43. Remember, the fabric is into two fold in the front, two fold at the back. You divide that 43. Actually, the chest is 42. And we had it one in sewing allowance. Male fashion, we don't add sewing allowance like that. You don't, they don't release get up and reduce like female so just that one in 43 we now divide by four that will give give us 10 three quarter so these are 10 three quarter here you mark it it's already with the allowance then you come to the half length point 19 This half length point 19, you just shaping, you taking half inch. Male fashion, it's not like male female fashion, you take button, you don't need all that. You're just taking half inch or one inch or three quarter inch to shape the waistline from the other part of the body. So you just shape up to that half inch point here and stop there. So on this 19. I'll just take half inch. So I'll just chip it. So with this, just cut out. That means you've already shaped out your waist. For this male top or male booba. And it's just as easy as A and B and C. Having cut out the shape this way, the shape of your waist, you can see that 
the chest point of men, men, it's equal to their hips point. These are chest points, 10 three quarter, is also equal to this hips point, 10 three quarter. So you just see that the slits will, will start this way. You have your turning this way, to be turned up this way. Then you now have the open slit from this point, this way. So that's just as easy as that. So this is the front panel for the male top or male booba. While this is the back panel, we can see that the back is longer than the front. It's going to turn, going to fall in this way to the front. Yes. So and as it falls that way, you're going to have the opening from the slit from this side that you've cut out your shape just like that. So what we want to do now is just cut out the sleeve and cut out the facing for the back. Cutting your sleeve, you have this fold this way, you have the first fold this way, then you fold again because I want to cut both sleeves together. You have the first fold this way, so this is into four places, so I'm cutting both sleeve together. Remember from our measurements, our round arm hole is 18, our sleeve length is 13, and round sleeve, our sleeve length is 10, excuse me, then our round sleeve is 8, our round sleeve is 13. So, to achieve that 18 inches round arm hole, half of 18 is 9, but I'm not going to place it on 9, I'll just, so, just achieve your edge inches this way then you try to make like a question mark like a curve this way does it's just similar to a jacket sleeve of a female then when you take it this way you see, you'll be getting your 9 inches. That's your ham hole. With this, you've gotten your 9 inches ham hole. Then you take your sleeve length this way. 10 inches. Remember, you'll be turning in on like 2 inches or thereabout. So, with this, you now get your round sleeve. A round sleeve. A round sleeve is 13. 13 divided by 2 is going to give us 6 and a half. So I'll add half inch so in land. So I'll be having 7. So you just take your ruler out as well. You cover the skin. Just notch, just notch this edge. So remember, you'll be adding, having your fold here. You just notch this point as well. So right now, once cut our facing, so we place it this way. So just come this way.
just come and curve it very well this way. It all depends on you. It all depends on the type of facing you want to achieve. Just want to achieve curve like facing. So we have something like this curve as my facing at the back. So you could just wake up and just do a curve this way, a curve this way. It's it's just accepted in the world of fashion, but when you'll be aiming, you'll be aiming well on that facing. So you just place your back this way, the back panel. You just turn the rebat side this way. So on the rebat side, it's going to come out at the back this way. So that's just typically your facing. So with this, you can see it's pretty good. It's pretty easy achieving your men's booba or whatever you. Uh, the, the, the Africans call it booba. Then you could call it the male top. Okay, you can see this is the back panel. This is the facing, and this is the sleeve. Then this is my front panel. I want to make it. This one we do at Central Fashion School. We we'll make an hybrid of the African fashion with the English fashion. So this is my front panel. I'm going to add the zipper in front. I'm going to add the zipper in front. It's going to be an hybrid of the English style with the native, with the African style. So I could just wear it on a jeans. I could just wear it on a jeans. I could just wear it on anything. So I'm going to open it by eight inches of the zipper. I'm going to affix a zipper in front. So you could just say, okay, it's this an African fabric or it's here an English fabric. You all decide that by yourself. That's what we do at Central Fashion School. So I'm going to open this half for the zipper. So it's just as easy as A and B and C. And at other times you could just use your embroidery like this. So, so, but for this particular one, I want to make it an hybrid of the African style with the English style. So I could just wear it on the jeans, or just wear it on the chinos, or whatever you. So, it's pretty easy at A and B and C at Central Fashion School. Till I come your way next time, don't forget to send in your comments, your likes, your thumbs up, and tell us what you want us to do. We are ready, always ready. At Central Craft Channel, or you log on to our website, Central Fashion School, www.centralfashionschool.com. A recap, www.centralfashionschool.com. So we're always ready to serve you better. Till I come your way next time, do have a lovely time.